Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio and I tried to put out a previous video and it went to a different account than I intended it for it to go to about my issues with my computer. So I have lost footage for about three or four days, I think, and I'm not sure I can recover it. I bought a new editing program for my PC and I'm trying to learn how to use it and uh, <laughs> Evidently, I can at least kind of post a video, but it goes to the wrong account under my name. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not perfect, but we're working on it. So, here is a recap of some of the things that I did that I probably I've lost the footage for. I know you've seen this one already. Started out being this, went to that, this. The flower started out this way, did this, and it ended up like that. This one you may or may not have seen, I don't know. Here's the the stripes, and I ended up making a modification about putting little lines through it. And there's how it turned out before I had done the recarve on it. And then um, I did this one. There's the, oh you can't, I'm sorry, the glare. Ooh. Um, here is this one, and then that's what it turned out to be. It looks much better after it's been stamped a couple times. Then this one started out like this, ended it up like this. So I'm a couple days behind, but I do have a design. We're going to try this. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I did want to mention something that I don't know if anybody realizes this. But rubber does go bad. This is a piece of rubber that I probably had for four or five years, and it has become sticky and it sticks, it's stuck to other rubber, not to mention the fact that it is misshapen. It's nice and soft and it's a good carving rubber. The only thing is, is it has deteriorated. I mean, it just it feels sticky and it's not, I don't think it's, a really good uh, piece of rubber to carve on anymore. So here's the other one, and th watch this. It's do you see how it's shiny? Can you see it's shiny? Probably. There you go. Well, that's where it's starting to deteriorate. It's um kind of gross. So these two might have to be chucked in the trash. Okay, let me find another piece of rubber here. Maybe not. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, okay. So let me go get another piece of rubber. Okay, so I went to get this piece of rubber. I think this is a... I think this was purchased probably from Michael's a couple years ago. So there's that big, nice piece. I hopefully can finish out most of the month with this. But while I was in the drawer, in my supply drawer... I found these. I forgot I ordered these either a year or two years ago. And I've never used these. I am very excited I found this because I've never used them. I'm just... Um, oh, okay. So let, I might have done a review of these or don't say I ordered these. But I, what's... You know what this is? A Band-Aid dispenser. <laughs> That is probably the ultimate gift. <laughs> I thought that was really funny that they give you a, a little band-aid dispenser. All right, these are more fine and smaller. All right, so we're going to start using these. Let me cut a piece of rubber. Okay. Let me stick this in the corner here. Well, I know, I'm sorry, I'm out of frame, but i got to be able to reach it if I'm going to use it. I don't know if this stuff is dark enough to, uh, well, where is the, I have lots of bone folders and you can never find when we need one. Sort of like in a craft room or an art room where you do paper and then you can't find a piece of paper to take a note on while you're on the phone. <laughs> don't tell me that hasn't happened to you guys. Huh, 
Not too bad, huh? Not too shabby. Okay, so let me... Let me cut a little bit off of this. I, I can't afford to waste this rubber because this is my last piece. <laughs> and deciding not to buy craft supplies. I don't, I can't be out buying a bunch of rubber. I guess you can't see that, can you? <laughs> I don't know if other people pre-cut their rubber or not. I don't know. But I have to cut mine this time because of limited supplies. And I may have to redraw some of the lines on the ends because you can't see them very well. Oh, okay, that's not going to go well. Don't do that. There. All right, so that's a side. And let me just draw some of these lines. You know, Fine stuff. The fine, uh, what are these called? Palm something set. They include a one millimeter, 1.5, 2.5, and another one millimeter, but it must be the shape. It's a different shape than the others. All right, so let's try this really fine one. I don't think I've ever. Well, they hold in your hand pretty well. Let's see how they do with fine lines. Oh my, that's very fine. Look at that. It's like the whisker on a cat. That's really small. Isn't that lovely? You can barely even see the thing. My goodness. Try this again. Ah, oh, this is fabulous. Wow. Wait till I ink this thing up. Oh my gosh, where have you guys been all this time? Holy mackerel. Look at that. Oh, ooh, so nice. Do lots of fine detail with this. Whoa, 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 went a little too deep. Don't get carried away there. Come on, come out. Okay, let's go this way. Oh my goodness, it's just so light. Holy moly. Oh, they're so easy to use. Can you tell I'm in love? <laughs> I'm enamored. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's just fabulous. Come on. Here we go. My goodness gracious, look at that. It's so tiny. Holy cow. Okay, that line's crooked. I'm not going that way. Well, I kind of did. All right. Yep. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. I forgot that I bought these. And I think I did a quickie review a couple years ago, but I have not really paid attention to these in the drawer. 
at all because I have not been carving. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's so marvelous. Oh, wow. Still so tiny. Come on. Uh. Out. Yep, I think it's out. And they're so easy to hold in your hand. Very cool. All right, come out now, you booger. There we go. Maybe the reason my other stuff, I'm having such a hard time with it, is the blade is dull. I don't know. I feel like I'm picking splinters out of someone's finger. <laughs> Wow, like butter. Holy cow, that looks nice. I wonder what it's going to look like on um, when I uh, stamp it. Wow. Wow, these are nice. I'm trying to figure out why I bought them. Maybe because I wanted the smaller blades. I don't know. Oh, but they sure are nice. Have I mentioned they're nice? <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Holy mackerel. Well, good thing I didn't have any rubber and I had to go look in the drawer. I just put everything on the tray and just, you know, this was underneath a, underneath something else and I just didn't look that hard. Come on, come out. There you go, so let's see, we need to do this side. That's just spectacular. I'm so pleased. Well, it seems to be going pretty well. All right, let me finish doing the rest of this and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to find a piece of paper here somewhere. There's this pile of stuff. We're going to give it a stamp. I did finish carving the whole thing, but you can barely tell, can you? It's such a very, oh, it's a very fine blade. I am so impressed at the moment. We'll see how it goes once I stamp it. Oh, look at that. I mean, there's a couple places where I did dig in too deep. You can tell because the lines are fatter, but holy moly. Oh, this rubber's much better than that one. The two pieces I showed you that are, have to go in the trash. Look at that. That is fabulous. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I know I shouldn't do this, but let's, let's play around with one of these other ones that's a little bigger to carve out some empty space. Oh, it's a nice cold handle. I want to carve out this right here. So I'm going to take this and carve out the black where I messed up and made it too thick. So I'm going to make this correction here and carve out the black. Oh my gosh, it's so smooth and easy. Holy moly. Look at that. That's really nice. I might have to redo some of that, but I think I will go ahead and even it out. Oh my goodness, look at that. Just, just, oh, wow. Where have you been? I've needed this when I was carving the other day. Oh 
my goodness, look at that. So smooth, so sharp. I have um, grinding stones for my um, other tools. I think maybe it might be time to sharpen them because they feel like they give resistance while I'm trying to carve. I mean, this is kind of sloppy, but I'm okay with... Oh my goodness, look at that. This needs to be cleaned up right here. Let me go to the outside edge so I don't mess up any more of it. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm just so impressed with these. I might have to buy some more of these. All right, I got a little sloppy here on the corner, so we can try to fix that. I don't know if I can or not. I may have dug out too much, but Let's try this again. Let's do this. Okay, that's kind of weird. So I need to tidy up this a bit. Let me use the bigger one so I can just get it done in a couple of swoops. goodness. This is the difference between, I think, a sharp and a dull tool. And a finer blade. All right, let's try this again. I need to press down harder. I think I need a piece of fun foam under here so that it works. I think it looks better the other way. We'll try. <clears throat> um, maybe I need some, whoop, I need a trim here. Let's see, that's the little bitty one. Let's do this. I think it looks better if I do it with the long white. Although I do like this look. All right, let's try this. I think them going this way looks better than trying to do a square. Although, who knows? Yeah, because then you get this other geometric and then you get this one. Yeah, I think that's where it needs to go, but I'm wondering, do I need to take any more out to, to do the design? Let me think about it. Okay, so I decided to carve off a little of the white here on the very ends, but I know that this one is longer than this, so they're not going to match up perfectly, but I thought I would give it a try. I might have to carve this one again and make better choices, but... That's not horrible. I don't hate it. I'm just very out of practice. Okay. Because see, this is little and little. So I'll have to match the little with the little. And the big with the big. 
Okay, let's see if we can get this to match the little with the little. So that means every time I stamp it, I'll have to flip it around according to large and small ends. How's that? Ooh, me likey. So now I gotta I do the, this is the large. You know what I need to do is write on the back of the stamp, this is the large and that's the small. So I know which way to turn the stamp when I stamp it. So now I have to do the large to large. Let's see how this goes. Because I get so many, I'm gonna get so many different designs inside the actual design itself by doing it this way. And I, I like that. You get more bang for your buck that way. I should have lined it up a little further down, but let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I have a red pen. The stuff I'm talking about you get more design for your buck is you get this right here. And then when you do it again on top of the other one, you're gonna get this, the diamond in the middle every time like this. This is just because you put the four corners together. I really like that I'm getting an extra design in there. Plus you have just the stamp itself. Whoops, the stamp itself. I think I got carried away there. Anyway, so, I. I think that this is not horrible. Yay! All right, let me stamp. Let me do this on the jelly plate and see how it turns out. Okay, so I decided on red and yellow, so I'm gonna do yellow first. And don't forget, I mean, there, there's a ceiling fan going on behind me, so this has got to be kind of snappy. And yes, I've got more paint on here than I probably should, but that's because it dries out so quickly and I want to make sure I get good coverage. There we go, there's the stamp. <laughs> I say snappy and then I can't find it. Large versus small versus small to large. Versus large to small. Then I'll do, I think I got large to small. And then large again. And then large to small. Then large. Then large to small, and then large to finish it off. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Um, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it dry. <laughs> Look, my new dryer. <laughs> we spare no expense here. All right, so let's put a little red on the situation. Is it, too, is it dry? It's trying, it's a little tacky. I don't know if the red's gonna show up because they're very fine lines in the stamp. I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but we are going to try. All right, so let's get <laughs> another piece of paper that I don't have. All right, we're just gonna use the back side of this. And then I have to get up and go get some paper because I'm out. All right, let me let this sit a second. I'm gonna go get some paper.
Okay, so I cleaned it off with a baby wipe and then wiped it off with a towel. It's tacky, so I think it'll work on the stamp pad really well. So even though I like the red, I do want to see more, so I think I'm going to give it a shot with the black, whoop, with the black stamp pad and see how we do with that. All right, so this is the large. And the paint itself is a little tacky still, but not so much that I can't do it. And then do the small to small. And then the large to large. Let's just do the half. And then large to large. Um, I don't. I don't know how I feel about the black and the red, but I want to try. See how it looks. All right. So now this time, I'm going to try something different since I'm messing up this paper. I want to try it this way. This is a small to small. A small to small. I kind of like that. Maybe, I don't know. This looks not too bad, huh? Anyway, I'll be back with another video as soon as I figure out how to use this editing program on the new um, video editor. I <laughs> It's like I'm feeling my way around in the dark. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.